One of the main projects I work on is evolution of bioluminescence generally. Most of the fish that are bioluminescent are midwater fish, as all the fishes are sort of swimming through this assemblage. They all have the same constraints on them, just like when you're in the Arctic, everybody's white. All these animals have a little bit of light coming from above, and so the vast majority of them have evolved the ability to mimic the light just so that they're not creating shadows from organisms below them. That's why there's so much bioluminescence in the midwater. They're in this sort of twilight area. This is like the entire North Pacific Ocean at a certain depth is, has the exact same habitat. Nothing changes much. It's sort of amazing to me like how in this environment that's so uniform that you could have so many animals. You don't have to have a mountain range come up and separate a species into two. We actually know very little about how deep sea fishes speciate depth or pheromones. These little smells in the ocean could be used for species recognition. I like the idea that deep sea animals could actually be using light for speciation. The reason I got really interested in them wasn't so much the bioluminescence itself, but what was interesting is how many times they had taken this bioluminescence to co-opt it to something else at the same time. And you have certain groups like the angler fishes that have gone crazy, and it's because they have sexual selection on the light organ system itself. So that's the only way that the males and females are finding each other. And so you get an increase in speciation, which is you know, sort of what drives biodiversity scientists. It is so piecemeal what is known about the deep sea. There's a lot of animals out there, all sorts of things that evolved a long, long time ago, things closer to the trunk of the tree of life. And we still don't know that much about them. I mean, imagine what we know about, you know, deep sea sponges. I mean, they just found a carnivorous deep sea sponge. It's like, how does that work?